I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 323, where I'm going to show you how to convert integer, integer data type to text when your select isn't working. This is also just a really quick way to convert integer data types to text or really any data type, I believe, to text. If you're wondering how to do that in Quantrix, I have here a model that has a list of part codes with it. I'm going to remove my filter here. has a list of part codes and their associated value or cost with each of these part codes. And then what I have is I want to populate uh, over here what that new part code cost is based off of the facility and the part code that I'm looking at. And so what I've done here is I've gone out and I've written a select statement that says go ahead and select the value from here where my part code, which is here, is equal to the part code that I'm on over here. So basic select statement with a with a structural function of at. Excellent. And then I have using as where I'm linking items, which is facility, to my category, which is facility here. But as you look at this, you can see that it's not bringing back anything for my new standard. And what I do is I go ahead and I filter on the selection and I can see that I have values there, but it's not populating. Why is that? What's going on? What's wrong? Why doesn't this work? Well, <clears throat> having been around Quantrix long enough, I know what's happening is uh, part code or the items inside of categories. OK, so each of these part codes, if I move it down here, each of these items here is actually stored as text within Quantrix. And this over here is actually an integer. Now, I know that not because it has the comma, but because it's actually right aligned, that indicates to me that this is stored as an integer. So what I'm doing with my select statement is I am trying to convert, uh, I'm trying to look up two different data types and Quantrix doesn't like that. So I either have to change the data type here and I can do that by writing a value around my part code like this, right? Or, if I don't want to do that, I can actually uh, go ahead and force this guy to be text. And how can I force him to be text? I could simply write the text function, if you will, and I could put a... Then for my format, I could put the at sign in double quotes, and that stands for text. If I go ahead and do that, I actually get a pound size error. So I don't like that option. So that doesn't work. How could I do it? What I would need to do is actually add a helper column, and I've done that here, and then I would need to try that text function here by parsing it out or by converting it from text to this at part code. The reason why it was giving me a pound size error actually before is because this writing text here with the at sign in double quotes as I did just a second ago, it this is actually an array, but that text function only applies to a specific value, so it wouldn't know how to how to format the entire array. So that's why we got the pound size error. Fair enough. So back to this, though. It, what I would do is I'd go ahead and write text and create a new column. Now, if I were to go here and go to part code and write text and have it be formatted the way it's written over there or spelled correctly, then you can see that indeed it works because I converted this part code to text here. Furthermore, a shortcut, or a different way rather, to get for your text part, for your integer to be shown as text, and I learned this from uh, James Kipling, who used to be, I think, the, the product manager at Quantrix, bless his heart. Rest in peace, James, as you've moved on to other pastures probably aren't as green because I don't know if you're using Quantrix. But anyway, uh, what he showed me once is you can actually simply put a double quote and an ampersand in front of the uh, item within your formula here. And if you go ahead and hit enter, then it converts that actually to text and it then populates and your select statement works just beautifully. 
Uh, again, you have two methods to go ahead and convert something to text, but uh, I kind of like this method that James showed me all those years ago. You go ahead and just do a double quote. You don't even need a space and your uh, integer value and it converts it to text with the ampersand and the double quotes and it should work for you. If you have any questions about how to get a select statement to work or how to get anything to work in Quantrix, I hope you know that I'm your guy. So I hope you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com and ask me your questions. I love Quantrix. I want you to love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.